This is Dabu7. I want to share with you here in this video some of the hidden connections, kind of hidden in plain sight when it comes to the distances between ancient sites here on this planet and the numbers. The numbers jump out and they repeat over and over again. And I just want to go through some of the examples here to get some of you to realize that this is a repeated pattern out here. And if you can see this, you can start to see the bigger picture here of what's going on. Now, I'm also talking about the diameter of the sun, the moon, the earth, other planets. These reoccurring numbers that you find within, like with the golden mean, the golden ratio, with pi. Those numbers repeated or multiplied or divided, there's always a fraction of them embedded in everything and we see the mirror of that effect as well now if you were to go to this planet and look at it you would see that it is tilted 23.4 degrees from the north pole if you take a basic 90 degree angle and you deduct that tilt that leaves you with 66.6 .6 degrees that this planet is tilted on now Keep in mind that the Earth is also moving around the Sun at 66,600 miles per hour. Now, when you go to key points on this planet, we've talked about D.C. and other places, and I'll start here with D.C., zooming in, the layout, where it sits, the connection. We talked about the Temple of the Sun, the fire line that passes through or me and Casey were talking, he was talking about the 188th ley line and the connection also with these lines that pass through Sandy Hook, through D.C., through the spot where the towers came down in NYC, to Stonehenge and other ancient monuments. So we know that these ancient places are laying on these lines and they are connected. And what was very interesting is the one line we were looking at when we backed out and we looked at that line around Earth, we seen that in the very center of that line was a very curious spot. And it was right here in the United States, believe it or not. It is Mount Denali. It is the highest peak in all of North America. And we come to find out that when this big circle popped up on the map, that the very heart and epicenter of it was right here. Mount McKinley, Mount, Mount Denali, Obama had renamed it. And it's the highest peak. What are the odds of that? What are the odds that the highest peak in all of North America sits right at the center of this big circle? From this one ring of monuments and ancient sites and even current modern sites. Something to think about I wanted to throw out there. Now, Running through some of the numbers, if you were to go to the Rock of Gibraltar and you were to go to Beirut, the separation there is 33.33 33 degrees. If you were to go to Hawaii and you were to track it over to its closest point in California, it is an area that they call Point Arena in West California. And that is at 33 degrees. Exactly how that runs. Now, you have Easter Island, Nazca, Heliopolis. They are all in a line. Now, this line you have also will run from Easter Island to Rome. I'll pull into Easter Island here. So you can see where it's situated here, for those that don't know. Out here in the ocean alone. But when you factor this in with other key spots on this planet, these numbers start to emerge again. Check this out. The tallest mountain measured from the ocean floor on this planet is Mauna Loa, right here. The deepest spot in the ocean is Challenger Deep. The tallest mountain is Everest. 
And check this out. From Easter Island to Mount Everest, 6,666 nautical miles. From Mauna Loa to Challenger Deep, 6,660.6 kilometers. From Challenger Deep to Mount Everest, 6,066 kilometers. This repetitive number that is repeated over and over again, you can see here. Embedded right there in the distances. Different measurements, kilometers, miles, nautical miles. And it's not just that number. It's other numbers as well as I'm about to show you here. But get another example here. Between, and you can see their signature with their Masonic building that from the ground, folks on the ground can't tell what this building is. You can only really see it as its Masonic logo from the air. But the distance from here to this temple in India, you can see it written, you can see, to this position in France, to these monoliths, you can see the number and those, they're right there. This repeat of numbers between the distances of these places. And the distance here between Mount Everest and Heliopolis is 3,333 miles. Exactly. Abu Samel, which is in Egypt to Heliopolis is 864 kilometers and that 864 is repeated and also embedded in the height and feet of Mount Everest. Now if you were to go to the Maracabo lighthouse the distance between there and Heliopolis is 6,666 miles. If you were to go from Berlin to ancient Babylon the Tower of Babel, right here, it is 3,333 kilometers on the nose once again. Now, make note that they moved Cleopatra's Needle to London from Alexandria, where it stood for 2,000 years. And the distance from both those points is 3,333.33 kilometers. You can't make this stuff up. They, on the money with that one. Now, from Bergarak Peak, which is a well-known peak, to London, it is 33.03.3 .03 nautical miles. And from these pyramids that they've set up inside of Paris, it's a, a smaller scale Giza pyramid set up with a, a purple type of ribbon in front of it. To that peak, from that little setup, it is 666,066 meters. Now, from the Vatican Obelisk to Coral Castle, which is built in Florida, and it was moved from one position to another where it now sits, it is, the distance between the two is 330,000, or 330 million, 330,000, in zero 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 inches and the zip code there for that area is three three zero three three and is the only place in the United States that you're gonna find that has a zip code with that many threes embedded within it now the there was the ancient lighthouse that sat in Alexandria in Egypt now if you draw a line going from Heliopolis to Alexandria Virginia here in the United States, it passes directly through the lighthouse in Alexandria, Egypt. It's pretty interesting. Now, from Madrid to Barcelona, it is, check this out, 555,555 ,555 yards. From Madrid to Valencia, it is 333,000 yards. From Barcelona to Valencia, it is 333,333 yards. The diameter of Mercury is 3,033 miles. If you were to go from the obelisk in Washington, D.C. and go to this obelisk that sits on top of the Bank of America in Manhattan, it is exactly 333,333 meters. Now the Washington Obelisk to the Tower of Babel. 
or the uh, of the area of Babel that you can see right here. When you zoom in, you can see, zoom into this area that they have the ancient city of Babel listed. And everything connected to it. Well, the distance between the DC Obelisk and the Tower of Babel in Iraq is 33,003,300 feet. Now, the EU Parliament building was built after what they depicted as being the Tower of Babel. It was built to match that. Now, that EU Parliament building is 3,333 kilometers from Thebes, Egypt, and that is where the Colossus is set that you can see depicted here. You can see these massive Colossuses, Colossus of Memnon in Thebes, the gateway to ancient Egypt that they all pass through. And you can see the scale of people down here to these things. And you can see the distance, 3,333 kilometers. There is a repeated pattern here. When you start to pick this up and notice this, and notice that there are lines across this planet you can't help but think that this is a blueprint and that other ancient sites are sitting on them. Whether in the jungle, in the forest, in a city, or underwater, or a ton of snow, this is a basic blueprint of where they set up shop over time on these lines and we find these ancient sites and monuments all across the globe on these lines at these distances now if you were to go to this area inside of france that they refer to as being uh the kingdom of the sun of uh, versailles in france the distance from there to the White House is 3,330.3 nautical miles. If you were to go from the Cholulu or Cholulo Pyramid, which is in Mexico, to Manhattan, it is 3,333 kilometers. What is important about that site? It is an area where there was more stuff moved by man. Even more than the Great Pyramids, they state more earth and material and everything moved at that site in this large-scale construction, the pyramid itself not being the biggest, but the whole area being massive and the movement for its time being of the largest. They compare that to Manhattan today. And the fact that these two are connected by that number, once again, is just, a, you can call a coincidence or you can say that someone knew this over time throughout history when choosing these spots across the globe. If you were to go from Stonehenge to Solomon's Temple, you will see that they, they are 33.33 degrees apart. And you wonder why this is embedded and used in the secrets of the Masons and everything that they've used. And I've talked about that in many different videos. And literally, I could talk about this stuff for hours. But what I'm trying to do here as quickly as possible is show you as many examples around the globe as I can of of these numbers repeating over and over and I want you to see that there is something to it there's something embedded here okay if you were to go from the Kaaba Mecca and you were to go to the western wall in Jerusalem two huge holy sites it is exactly 666.6 .6 nautical miles if you were to go from Silbury Hill to the well-known spot called the shard it is 66.66 .66 nautical miles once again these are this is just a handful of examples here to get people's wheels turning and let you see so you can go go to Google Earth pull out the tool start doing measurements and do it in different scale nautical miles miles centimeters all the stuff and look at the numbers that jump out and make note and when you do you'll start to get a list compiled of exactly what i'm showing you and there's no way this is all coincidence there's something embedded here i'm telling you 
Mount Hermon. If you go to one of the oldest places on the planet, Tiwanaku, it is 6,666.06 nautical miles. If you were to go from Mount Hermon to the highest peak on earth, Mount Everest, it is 3,033 miles. This Mount Hermon also, there is a 33.33 degree heading to K2, which is the second highest peak on the planet. And if you were to go to the third highest peak, it is five, 500 million, 500,000, 500 centimeters. Exactly. So, just some examples here to show you the connection here between these ancient sites across the globe, that there's more to it. And I can't help but think and wonder, How many hidden sites are along these lines at these equal distances in other locations that are just waiting to be discovered? And I can guarantee you some covered by snow and ice and water. It's interesting to know that there is something here, and I hope other people can see it. I will continue to talk about this. Me and Casey are expecting to try to hook up and, and get another good video out on this subject as well. We may go live if we can. You never know. But uh, just keep your eyes peeled for, for more. All I can do is try to uh, relay some of the information that I come across and try to open the minds of some people out there and let them see that there are patterns here. People can perceive it as whatever. And I know you see a lot of the repetitive 666 and some people are like, oh, it's evil. But you have to lay all the cards on the table to see all the numbers in the pattern. You just turn a cheek. And when you do, you start to see that there is a repetition here over and over again. It's They're a part of the, the bigger equation. And when you start to have all the, the variables, you can start to figure out the bigger picture. Okay, so one of the biggest things they do is keep us in the dark, the nature true history and you wonder what the masons do in secret behind the scenes and all this other stuff well you should know you should see it all now i've talked about it i've shown you and what is the importance of mount Hermon? this right out of your biblical text is where the fallen ones landed these giants these giants that existed on this planet they came here and they came unto the women of this planet, and they board Nephilim, giants, men of renown, it states. And where did they enter? Where was their port of entry? Right where Casey found the half vessel of Pisces, and it was marked. Right where the UN has their base at the highest summit, Mount Hermon. And when you back out from this and you start to look, you're going to see, and hopefully it'll become clear because I've tried to tell all of you, they're not fighting over this and that. They control both sides of every war forever. They are fake Christians, fake Muslims, fake Jews. They worship these fallen ones. And what they're on a quest for is the same thing Hitler was after, ancient technology. That's why when he went to Tibet and the monks told him, go to Antarctica, go to all these other places, he went on this quest what were some of the other places? Ancient Babylon. In Iraq. The Tower of Babel. This is why we went into Iraq. To dig up the bodies of Gilgamesh and everything else that they discovered then it vanished. This is why we've gone in and destabilized all types of different areas. And this is, in my opinion, why they're pounding away at Syria. Syria, right here. You have all the ancient ruins, ancient Damascus that sits here. You have Mount Hermon right there on the doorstep with Baalbek. Massive stone, the largest ever discovered cut that way on the planet. Right here on the border with Turkey, you have the most ancient temple ever discovered. I've talked about this in other videos. Gobekli Tepe. Game changing. Ancient stuff sitting here in these areas. And there's always more to it. It's not just about oil and all this other stuff. This world is a stage, ladies and gentlemen. They're in a race to capitalize 
on using this. And let's hope not the wrong ones don't get it to use it just to weaponize. And it's a damn shame that they have all this access to technology and they're not doing more to help this planet. All the talk of running oil through pipelines, never fresh water to the desert, never to make this place a utopia, it seems. This is Dabu7, and until next time, much love.